almost didn't come today. Right, because you thought that I was all wrong for you. Well, luckily, I was right to think that I might be wrong because you, this is totally right for me. Well, Melissa finally got something right. See, I told you, and enough with the wrong and right already. Just say it. Perfect. Please get out of my head now. I'm trying to be in the moment. Hey, David! So much for the moment. Hey, hey, it's a trap. Hi, Alvin. Admiral Akbar from Return of the Jedi, right? No, well, yes, but no, Anne, I'm serious. Ask him. Ask him about Melissa and Grant's plan to set you up. All right, easy, buddy. Calm down. Right? <laughs> hey, come on. What are you? What is this? What are you? What are you doing? We should probably go back to the beginning. It's open. Hey, lady, what's going on? Uh oh, my money's on your mother. If you need us, we'll be outside. Okay. Spooning. Nice. If I accidentally get Ben or Jerry on that scarf, I have it. Get away from my scarf, you nut. I earned it. Earned it on a day? Well, not exactly. Wait, what kind of girl do you think I am? But kind of. I mean, I will take kind of on a day. God, easy, Yenta. You sound like my mother. Whoa, do not blame me for gently encouraging you to find the man of your dreams. <sighs> what can I say? I'm good with my hands. Yeah. Okay, I came here to get away from the pressure of finding Mr. Wright. I'm sorry. Continue. So there is this older man named Mr. Weaver who I chat with when I get my coffee at Mugshots. That's, that's, that, may I ask you something? Technically, you just did. <laughs> huh. Could you help me with my wife's things? You remind me of her. You're delightful, just like my Doris. This is her on our wedding day. Oh, that's sweet. I just need help sorting through her clothes. I can't tell what is something that someone may still want or if it's just too passe. <laughs> is this his dead wife's scarf? Did she die in this scarf? <gasps> Did he kill her with that scarf? Not exactly. The bedroom is this way. Okay, go ahead. He got you in the bedroom on the first date. You are easy. You done? <laughs> yeah. This has got to be really hard for you. Is there anything I can do to make it easier? Actually, this was the dress that Doris was wearing the day that I proposed. Mm, da -da -da. Da. Would it be too much to ask of you to try it on so that I could imagine my sweet Doris? Ew! You said no. Not exactly. I'd be happy to. Uh. Oh my. Oh my. Just like the day I proposed. Except, have a seat. Did I ever tell you I wanted to be a hairstylist? Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I told my dad I wanted to go to cosmetology school. And he had a heart attack. Oh, God. A clutch your heart, keel over on the floor heart attack. Luckily, he survived or my mother would have killed me. But after that, I never mentioned cosmetology school again, but the dream never dies. Here, have a look. Oh, my. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need pictures. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, I'm texting these to oh, myself. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, that's not even the crazy part. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh.
Otto. This has got to stop. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Doris, Otto's wife. <laughs> Where did you get this tacky dress? This is the third time he's tricked a girl into letting him do her hair. You could have been killed. No, he's harmless. Okay, Doris and he and I talked about it for a long time and I decided if he wants to do my hair again, he could. <laughs> that is a lot of braids. <laughs> yeah. God, so many different sizes. Anyway, this morning. Anne, thank you for encouraging Otto in the pursuit of his dream. Sincerely, Doris Weaver. See, no date that I set you up on could be that bad. Possibly true. <laughs> then we're agreed. You can now date JD. Wait, what? I promise you, nothing will be as terrible as a kook with a can of Aquanet. And it'll get your mom off your back. Besides, you can't sit at home and watch TV while your personal life dies a slow and miserable death. Hey, I work in television. I need to stay current. You work in customer service at Comcast. Now you sound exactly like my mother. And JD, the guy that I met at your New Year's Eve party? I too am a fan of tiny wieners. Can't you find someone more perfect? But JD! <sighs> Okay, I will find the perfect guy for you. Two days later and Mel had already set me up with Alvin. That's the one over there that's 75% elbows, 25% seasonal allergies. Thought we might need to hydrate. This is why she is my best friend. What, no cookies? Well, I was gonna bake today, but I had to meet up with Alvin. I thought your date with Alvin was Monday night. It was. And? Hi, Alvin? Okay, you're either Alvin or a door-to-door -door murderer, so if it's the second one, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back later. I've got a blind date tonight. Yeah, I am. A serial killer? No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry for not being a murderer. That's a pretty big positive. You're funny. Thank you. Do you wanna start over? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh, stay with me. Hi, I'm Anne. You must be Alvin. Hi, I'm Alvin. I must be... I I mean, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Alvin. We, we should eat. It's the rush, Speed Racer. Sorry, I just don't want dinner to get cold. Okay. He didn't even take you through the drive-thru so that you could choose yourself. That would have been tacky. That would have been tacky? So... Bad date? Not bad, but did you know he wants to be a life coach someday? <laughs> I just want to help people accomplish their goals and like get their lives together. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He couldn't even navigate a ketchup packet. I know, right? Stop interrupting. Look, I think it's great that you want to help people, but nobody's going to take you seriously if you can't even open a ketchup packet. You actually said that to him? Well, he asked me what I thought. What was I going to do, lie? I would. And he asked you out on a second date, though? Oh, no, 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 I'm not his type. Wait, you're not his type? But you went out with him again today. No, that was not a date. That was me helping him be more comfortable in his own skin. The guy is shy and socially awkward. No. He can barely order a coffee without needing to breathe into a paper bag. The guy has a lot of work to do before he's ready to date anyone. Since it wasn't a real date, do I get a do-over? A do-over? Yeah, can I set you up with another eligible bachelor? Ugh, all right. One more chance. Please do not say JD. <sighs> okay. JD is out. Sadly, woefully, catastrophically out. But I think I have the perfect guy for you. Okay, where have I heard that before? Grant, can you refill me while I go to the ladies? Sure. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Another blind date? Just yesterday I told Alvin that he needs to stand up to his mother and tell her he wants a place of his own. Fine advice coming from someone who can't say to her own mother, Mother, I'm happy with my life. 
So don't expect me to call anytime soon and say, Guess he's got a date on Sunday. Anne, did you hear me? Be right there. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass on being a third wheel again. I'm sorry, honey. Just please be patient. We're getting closer. I'm trying, babe. I, I really am trying. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll, uh, see you later. Finally, I have been waiting forever to binge watch Down Abbey. Here we are, my lady. But do let that steep a bit while you fill me in on your outing with that nice gentleman. Pip pip. Gentlemen <laughs> is a stretch. So you thought that was my Matthew, my Mr. Darcy? Yes, because it is so easy to find suitable English lords. First of all, he decided we should watch the game. Oh, rookie move! One of many. My hearing is fine, or it, it was. Did you get my text? Yeah, are you ready for some... Football! Okay, I'm ready. Let me just get my purse and we'll go. Go? Yeah, to the game. Why go? We should just watch it right here. Even though your TV is a little small. It's 50 inches. That's what my last date said. This is unfortunate. Well, to be fair, after the first half, Clay started to open up. Open up how? Well, I asked him why he loves football so much. Things got pretty dark after the incident, but then Coach, he helped me turn it all around. Have you ever thought about coaching yourself? Nah. Why not? You seem to really know your stuff. And that lesson you gave me on tackling was both easy to understand and a lot less painful than I expected. You could change people's lives. Like your coach changed yours. You really think I could? Oh, yeah. He's also going to the boys club to become a big brother. Well, cool. But the date? He's a little too sportsy for me. Okay, I do have some other prospects for you. Ooh, bring them on. This is fun. I feel so helpful. <laughs> I thought I was happy before, but it just goes to show you that you should listen to those that love you. Well, it pains me to say this, my mother and my best friend were right. I had no idea how unhappy I was. I also had no idea how terrible a matchmaker Melissa is. No, she's really bad. No, I don't think you understand. She's like really, really abysmal. Yeah, abysmal. Okay, so it's macaroons, uh, the Rolling Stones, uh, Hyundai Elantra, and daisies. <laughs> you are ready for this. Okay, remember two things. One, don't stay too long. Two, don't mess up. Well, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Just be yourself. No, 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 no. Be better than that. If she finds anything to fix, you are out. Oh. So I just got back from the printers and I want, oh, hey, JD, long time. Hi there, Anne. Well, JD's uh, coming over to help me with a project. Uh, I was just about to put the coffee on. Don't get up, I'll do it. Uh, I will help you. If you want. Project? Well, excuse me for improvising. Between the two of you, you're totally gonna blow this. Come on, this is this whole thing is your brilliant idea. My idea? You're the one that wanted me to! Shh, shh, shh. Well, don't shh me! Uh, seriously, they will hear us. Oh, well, well then shh. Well, thanks guys, uh, I am gonna head out. You're not, you're not gonna stay for coffee? Thank you, but uh, no, I really gotta go. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Hey, uh, thanks for all your help with the um, project. Yep. Tomorrow? We're just getting coffee. It's no big deal. Oh, daisies. Did you just? No. no. OK, 
Okay, I think we're all caught up now. <laughs> JD, do you want to tell me why Alvin is being delusional? He's not being entirely delusional, and They were intentionally setting you up on terrible dates in order to like this guy. What? Look, I think you just need to talk to Grant and Melissa. If you wanted me to date JD, why didn't you just say date JD? I did! You didn't want to give him the time of day! What does that say to you? That you're angry. Did you really set me up with a bunch of losers intentionally? Look, I'm sorry, Anne. I just want you to be happy. And you were pretty happy with JD once you gave him a chance. I'm happy! You work at customer service at Comcast! Not anymore! I quit! Even though they told me if I stayed an extra two years, I'd give me free HBO and Showtime! You said JD was perfect. No, you said that. I said he was right for me. The right accountant for me. Accountant? Yes, accountant! Like an accountant you might like to date? Seriously? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we thought that if we could set you up with one of Grant's friends, then we could all hang out, and then Grant wouldn't feel like the third wheel. Whoa, 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 leave me out of this, all right? This was your brainchild, honey. What happened to for richer or for poor in deception and in truth? I don't think it went like that. I can't believe you have treated my feelings and my life like an episode of Three's Company. Look, and I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. You look. Maybe you should consider my services. Did you get those at the Office Depot? Hello? Mom? Hi. Well, I, well, if Dad's up for it, I mean, I might have an opening next Tuesday. Okay. The sun shines bright As it moves across my face I feel the light And everything is in its place I woke up feeling great Today was made for me And life is good the way it should The way it was meant to be And it's a beautiful day